himself within the team and also throughout the league right from the gates. Now here's Dinwiddie for three. Bridges, nice start for him, sinking his first shot. You've got to be aware and stay attached to Mikel Bridges beyond that arc. This guy dangerous as a shooter. Rose right side. Count it. One for one to start the game. And that ends their drought. You could feel the frustration building with each miss. And you've got to be able to show some resiliency, right? Keep pounding away, and it finally falls for you. It's Finney Smith with the drive. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, you put pressure on the defense when you put the ball on the deck and make the defender deal with your driving ability. And Doris for Brooklyn. What do you think their biggest challenge will be retooling this roster? PA, one of the problems they face, they don't own many of their own draft picks. So acquiring key pieces has to come through trades and free agency. And with that, you then have to have the salary cap implications to deal with. This is not easy. Here's Dinwiddie. The Grizzlies making their last shot. The kick out to Johnson. And the ball out of play. The Grizzlies will have it. Substitutions on the court. Memphis trailing here. Smart looking around. Rose outside. The three. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Well, the rise and fire. Now money in the bank for Derrick Rose. What beautiful development of the jump shot. Screen by Claxton. And there's the lob. And it's stolen by Rose. The drive by Smart. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Here's the three. Rebound Brooklyn. They're getting their first look of the season at the Grizzlies in this one. Thomas drills it from deep. Well, that's just a good possession. Dorian Finney-Smith moving the ball. He's been working on that aspect of his game. Pass to Lofton. Back to Rose. Jackson outside. Just five on the clock. No good from outside. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for the Nets. Leading by five. Claxton can't get it to go. And here's Memphis. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Spins. Rose. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Back to Finney Smith. Stolen by Jackson. And now the Grizzlies on the run. It's tipped. And they're able to recover. Pass to Roddy. Out of bounds. It'll be the Nets ball. Three-pointer O'Neal. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Nets out in front. They're up by five. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Grant, when you look at the Memphis team from last year, everyone was under 30 years of age. Yeah, and a lot of upside there. But the move this summer to bring in veteran leaders like Marcus Smart, I mean, he fits their timeline, B.A., and can also balance some of that youth with experience. Well, now that we've had a few years of reference stories, how do you think the play-in tournament has fared so far? B.A., a successful addition, there's no doubt about it. It's involved more teams for more competitive basketball for longer stretches of the season. That's exactly what you hope for.
Well, you see the size of Ben Simmons on a roll situation so effective at 6'10". The drive by Bain takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. The three is up. Ben Simmons grabs the board. The Nets with the lead. And it's Bridges with the jam. Well, you cannot let Mikhail Bridges get into the paint because he's going to hammer it home when you do. Out to the right wing. Down low. Here's Roddy. And a missed layup. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Nice shot by Simmons. We know the interior is Ben Simmons' comfort zone. He can get his shots at this range. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian, a few years back, Marcus Smart was talking about how he'd love to follow in Hall of Famer Gary Payton's footsteps as the next guard to win Defensive Player of the Year. He spoke it into existence last year, winning that coveted award. But guys, you watch him play. His actions on the court speak louder than words. No doubt about that, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff there. The three from Bain. And again, Memphis no good. And when it comes to Royce O'Neal, there's a reason this guy plays big minutes, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all because he has the trust of his teammates and his coaches. Just a high IQ guy who never plays in a rush. Kennard outside. Pass to Robbie. Can they get it? The rebound by Ben Simmons. Brooklyn with the ball. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Nice shot by Walker. Making plays at both ends of the floor, and it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Man, they're just getting run over right now. And you can really see they're starting to show some frustration. Here's Rose. And a nice finish on the layup. Rose has got seven points in the game. Well, that's about effort, carving space for the interior look. And one attribute we'll always talk about with Rose is the heart that he plays with. Here's Claxton. Basket counts. Six points for him. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Back to Kennard. Rose outside. Launches it from deep. The rebound by the Nets. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Excellent read by Finney Smith. Boy, has he improved his passing ability. It's Dinwiddie on the wing. The three ball. And the Nets, another three! Their system is running smoothly, and the gap on the scoreboard is widening. You do like that the offense is humming along. They're putting in the effort to distance themselves. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the Nets. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Fifteen. Brooklyn with the ball. Pass to Johnson. It's stolen by Smart. And he lobs it up. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level, getting a steal and turning it into quick points. Here's Rose. Seven points in the game. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. 
Bridges outside. Right side, Tenny Smith. Right wing. Just five to shoot. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. No good. He got it up. And he can't get that one. Well, because of his length, quickness, athleticism, this guy is able to smother shots. Excellent defense. And so it's Brooklyn. Up 25 big ones as we head into the next period. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. On the wing, Bain. Now Smart. The three. Denwitty with a rebound. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. After joining forces in 2019, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving only ended up playing 74 games together in Brooklyn. And think about it. Those 74 games were spread over the course of three years. Whether it was injuries, off-the-court drama, you name it, it limited their time together. And now the Nets are focused on rebuilding. That was not a successful pairing. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Rose. It's deflected. Jackson outside. Back to Rose. Fires the three. And another miss by Memphis. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Here's Smart. Tipped away. Fenny Smith with it. Guarded now by Smart. To the middle. Here's Denwitty. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Inside. Rose outside. The shot from 20 feet out. Denwitty with a rebound. Things have been a little bumpy coming into the second half. Five straight misses. And in terms of the league as a whole, there have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace. And across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So I don't know if it's all for the best. Such a strong defensive player. Bridges understands I've got size and quickness to rejection. Yes, sir. Knocks down the long chain. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Brian, there's a youthful exuberance in the Grizzlies locker room that some say more resembles a college team. Jaron Jackson Jr. said, quote, everybody listens to the same music, does the same things, watches the same stuff. We all vibe together and we like hanging around each other, and it translates. Brian? Oh, you like that connection. Allie, thank you. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Smart for three. O'Neal pulls it in. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. And it's Thomas off the drive to the inside. The kick out to Walker. Four on the clock. Driving to the basket. A nice shot by Smith. 